So this year's event here at Woodhaven High School was uh, an absolute hit. We had our highest uh, amount of participants, 62 boys and girls from around the Downriver area that uh, had a chance to be the star on the team, to cheer, to score a touchdown, and uh, have their moment in the sun for their Super Bowl. And uh, this project started um, back in 2010, and it stemmed from uh, my health issues that I had in 2005. I'm a three-time cancer survivor and a liver transplant recipient. Um, and I was a football coach in Trenton, and, uh, and I'm currently a teacher in Trenton. And I thought, what else can we do more, you know, as an extension of the classroom to teach these kids to be selfless? And that's where this community service started, uh, this idea. I feel like this is a great event. Props to Aaron Segetti for putting this together. It's great that he got all the athletes from Down River. Like, it feels like on the football field, we're all like not buddies, not friends, but this just brings everybody in the community together for one day. Just bring like joy to the community, have everybody happy, bring the less fortunate people. It brings them an opportunity to come play the sport that we all love and we're fortunate to play. I think it's a truly special event, seeing these kids out here having the time of their life. And it puts it into perspective for us as players, too, to cherish every step of the way and not take this game for granted. I think it's awesome for us to be able to come out here and give these kids an opportunity to do stuff that they uh, that they can't often do in their lives. So just having a day for that we could come out here and dedicate it for these guys is just really cool so they can have a, make their year. I think coming together like today for like Victory Day as a community for us specifically, like Woodhaven, we have a few players who are part of like the Victory Day like crew who plays. So like seeing them at games and seeing them throughout the week and coming out to support them here when it's like their turn to get things versus like them just cheering with us for other people. It's like their day to celebrate them. So I feel like it's mostly important. But it's a blessing. It's good to see that how much enjoyment these kids get out of it. And it's just a good reminder that be thankful for what you have and be thankful for what you can do. It's not every day that uh, you can just go strap on the pads and go play, especially for these kids. They just, this is a day that they look forward to and it just it brings some, some tears to my eyes just seeing how much fun they have with it. It's wonderful for us parents to have this opportunity. Dusty's my only child, so this is my one opportunity to have our victory day, and we totally appreciate every single moment. It's up there with our special memories. It's Disney World and Make-A-Wish. This is huge to us, and we appreciate it, and we can take memory, take pictures, put it in our memory bank, and have them forever. I had a second chance in life. You know, the community that I live wrapped around me and supported me, and this was an opportunity that I thought would be able to give back to others, and that's kind of where it started as a seed and then it just continues to grow the 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 program is I use the term very pure which means that it's a it's an easy it's a simple project that other schools can uh, to copy we have 80 plus schools across the country that now high schools that do this we have power five conference football teams um, you know in the Midwest and the East Coast that implement this program so there are a lot of great things being taught uh, other than just football and football in my opinion is the, the greatest game uh, but there's more to, you can teach these players than just the game of football. I think out here today they, you saw that. So the participants have a great time, but I think even more that these high school players and cheerleaders gain even more about uh, the blessings that they have that some of these children don't, they can't do. And, uh, you know, sometimes we take things for granted as adults, even as kids, um, you know, and it gives things uh, kind of a per perspective shift. And uh, I think it's good for them to see it. And, you know, we had 14 high schools from the area, it was just phenomenal. And I'm just so proud of how this continues to grow and, and, uh, and everybody had just a wonderful, wonderful day.